The Livonia Legacy Award recognizes those involved in Livonia who accumulated a long, sustained record of exceptional work and service in our community throughout their careers. Tonight, we will honor three people for their decades of remarkable contributions to Livonia. Our next Livonia Legacy Award recipient is Charlie Mahoney. If there's a project taking place in Livonia, chances are Charlie's involved in it. Mrs. Mahoney has been an active and instrumental uh, part of the Livonia Symphony Orchestra, the Livonia Community Foundation, the Livonia Chamber of Commerce, the Board of Directors for OHM Advisors, and the Town Hall Luncheons in Livonia, not just for years, but for decades. Then in her spare time, fueled by a passion for helping people build better futures, she's held numerous leadership roles on various local, state, and national workforce boards, again, for many years. She, is a busy she was a busy volunteer while working full time, but her volunteerism kicked into another gear after she retired from DTE Energy as regional manager in 2001. I'm sure you're glad you're not there this week, right, DTE? <laughs> 10 years ago, she was honored for her volunteer work by receiving the Livonia First Citizen Award, but she continues to do most of those things for the last 10 years and again today. And in this, her 50th year as a Livonia resident, along with her husband of 54 years, Jim. For all she has done to the Livonia community over many, many decades, the Livonia Chamber of Commerce is honored to present Charlie Mahoney as one of the 2023 recipients of the Livonia Legacy Award. And she's here on stage. Every microphone I come to is taller than me. In fact, everybody's taller than me. Once I asked somebody, they asked me, had I seen somebody? And I said, yeah, I did, yeah, I did. He looks like this, he's tall. They said, Charlie, he could be five feet five and he'd be tall to you. So anyway, thank you, Dan. Thank you, the chamber. Thank you for the city. And congratulations to everybody here tonight who is a winner and is an awardee. It's wonderful that there are people like you willing to serve our city. And Dave stole my thunder with some of what he said about the city. So I'm gonna skip that part and tell you that I am so honored to be given this legacy award. You know, at the same time, I'm just humbled. I, I, I'm so humbled that I'm being considered for this award, for another award, for a city that I love. Well, I was born and raised in northern New York, not Buffalo, the real northern New York, which is the same parallel, I think, as Gaylord, and it's 18 miles from the border to Canada. Anyway, I've lived most of my years right here in the city of Livonia, and Livonia is my hometown. And it's a community that I am proud of, that I am involved in, and that I, I want to work for its future. So. The last time I was here at a microphone, I told you, I think it was Jack Angerbretson who introduced me, and he said she had 73 organizations that she's involved in. Now, probably it was 73, but it wasn't all in one year. It was over, uh, you know, I'm 29 years old, so you know it was over a lot of number of years while I was out there. But anyway, I told you all that the reason I did what I did was to stop having to make dinner and clean house. I was never home. But that's really not true. The work that I do as a volunteer in this community and elsewhere stems from my passion, my passion to change lives, and my belief that helping others makes them and you feel really better. Building a collaborative effort to resolve an issue or hold a new event just energizes me. So. Now, I have to tell you that what I accomplish is not done by me alone. And I couldn't do it without the help I get from the individuals in this community. First and foremost, I could not spend my time doing what I do 
without the support and love of my husband, who you see running around with his camera, and friend for over 57 years, Jim Mahoney. I love you, Jim, and thank you. I have, I have two sons, one in Austin, Texas, who has over this year and last year suffered from ice storms and snowstorms and power outages for five to 10 days. Uh, I welcomed him home. <laughs> so, and I have another son in Arizona named Sean. My granddaughter, Dara, and her husband, Andrew, my grandson-in-law, who also are here in Livonia. Oh, and there's so many of you. I could, I could probably have somebody have you raise your hand and half of you would raise your hand that somewhere I have dragged you into something to get done in this city of Livonia. And I thank all of you and all of you who are outside of the city of Livonia who I've dragged into do things. Thank you, Semka. Thank you, Michigan Works, for all of the great lives we've changed with those organizations. So, you know, change for me, like for many, is a bit scary. But the challenge for me when it comes to change is to, is to get involved, understand what's changing, try to figure out where you fit in that change, and then move to make it happen or not. So a boss once told me back at DTE, and you're right, I'm glad I wasn't uh, working this last weekend or over the Christmas weekend, but you know, my phone still rang. Charlie, who do I call? Charlie and so on. So I, it's always, once, once an Edison employee, always an Edison employee. So a boss, my, 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 but my boss once told me, he said, don't be afraid to meet challenges head on and work them to a positive outcome. He had a motto which I've adopted and I'm still living by, and that is, if you're not on the agenda, then you're most likely on the menu. So if, you're on the, if you don't wanna be on the menu, why don't you get involved? In particular, get involved with the team who's preparing the menu. And that's the way I live my life here in Livonia. My passion for helping others by working together on what lies ahead is what drives me to continue. Did Jim, Jim, yeah, okay. I think he'll still be there for another 50 years, hopefully. You, my, my, the, I live by this one statement. You make your living by what you get, but you make your life by what you give. I'm happy to give, I'm gonna continue to give. And again, I cannot thank you more, Dan, and the city and the folks in this room for honoring me with the Legacy Award. Thank you.